and wants Yes, points. they are laughing. How, now to an update on a story about the persistence of a group of Tigard seniors that paid off in a big way. For months and months, the residents here at the Wood Spring Apartments have fought to keep their low income rent prices down after learning the owner of the building planned to increase rent to the market rate. That would have forced many longtime residents out. But by getting the word out at seemingly every level of government, Washington County decided to step in to buy the building and keep their rents affordable. The deal was finalized earlier this month, the end of an unlikely victory that allowed the residents to finally relax. It was from total dedication, people who didn't think they had any political skills at all, how we rallied, how we testified to the Senate, how we've testified to the county, and we've never given up. <laughs> Congratulations all. Residents around the state will likely be facing the same battle over the coming years. That's because a 30-year tax credit that encouraged developers to set aside low-income housing well, that's expiring for many projects now over the this year and next year. After that timer runs out, building owners are free to raise the rates on those units. The residents at Woodspring say they do want to do whatever they can to help and they'll coach others on how to stay in their homes just like they did.